Hello everyone, uh, this is Ali Reza and in this video I want to show you how to work with uh, PMC software and I want to work with uh, Horizon and near shading in this video. Okay, let's begin with this video. Okay, in part one, you s you saw how to define the photovoltaic system, selecting photovoltaic panels, select inverter, and understanding the positions of the arrays and the number of them. But first, let's uh, back it to the default um, yeah, that's it. Okay, you can see here in Designed Array, this is what we need to know. Okay, uh, here we have 13 modules in series and uh, the number of strings is 2. Okay, we need to write it down. Okay. And uh, you can see here. Oh, uh, let me. Um, yeah, op operation conditions of this system is shown here uh, in uh, vo voltage uh, in in maximum power point at sixteen centigrade is. Uh, is uh, 334 voltage and uh, uh, voltage in uh, maximum power point at uh, 20 centigrade is 402 voltage and uh, op open circuit voltage at uh, minus 10 centigrade is uh, 546 voltage or uh, volt sorry okay and uh, uh, here plane iridians is a uh, thousand watt per square meter and current at uh, maximum power point in uh, standard test condition is uh, 15.6 and uh, at short circuit uh, also in uh, standard test condition is 16.6 uh, .6. and uh, the plane irradiance uh, is at uh, as you say is at uh, standard test condition and uh, if uh, uh, take the uh, cons consider consider these things if I select maximum in data you can see it decrease in plane irradiance and uh, uh, in other od 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 parameters and if I back to standard test condition uh, you can see the decrease in the amounts 
like a uh, maximum operating power okay you can see the difference okay all right and uh, if you if you need uh, the data you can you can see here the number of modules here number of modules is 26 and uh, the total area uh, of this string is 43 square meters okay we have uh, we've done everything here uh, and we select uh, OK OK Alright, we defined for now we defined a uh, orientation system and we will take a look a quick look at uh, detailed loss so you can see see it okay I'll uh, show you uh, what we need to do because I want to uh, talking about uh, horizon horizon and their shading okay you can see the thermal parameters uh, ohmic losses and module quality late or mismatch soiling loss uh, you can a ticket and uh, to uh, uh, to determine this one in losses and aging aging is uh, important aging is one of the important factors in our simulation and uh, you can see it here by these factors okay okay we were talking about the, these things in the next videos and uh, okay uh, we accept these thing, things here um, aging, uh, okay thermal parameter or mech uh, soiling auxiliary a and unavailability okay we here select uh, okay these all these parameters are for next comparison between uh, future simulations that you want to do in your project so for the first time these are not necessary so I'll click on OK alright ok now it's time to move on uh, horizon one of most uh, important thing that I was struggling with when I was uh, at, u at university and I don't know um, how we didn't understand it okay let's look at this horizon okay here you can see the sun path for the location we defined in first okay so um, you can see the sun height and uh, the azimuth 
here is um, east and here is west and uh, these are the hours in a day and uh, below below these uh, blue lights uh, the radiation of sun will not get to the plane and the photovoltaic system will not receive the radiation of sun so uh, as you know uh, you can you can drag the horizon line and uh, let me uh, show you okay this is this is this horizon window is just for far shadings far shadings okay and uh, it's not about the near shadings okay so you can use uh, devices special devices to uh, draw and or import the data to draw the horizon in this graph but uh, you don't need any any other uh, any special device and it's not it's not uh, difficult for defining these horizon lines for your horizon part or far shading in your site okay let me show you how it works okay just I need to okay here I, I tell you that you go and uh, download Meteor-Norm software because I want to use the Meteor-Norm in, in this calculation about photovoltaic systems and don't forget don't forget that uh, you should have connected, be connected into the internet. Okay. Here, I come here. This is this is the meteor norm. This is meteor norm, and you can see this is the start menu. Okay, you can see location selection modifications and data import calculation settings and output formula results and exit I come to location selection and want to select my site so I can search here search it here what it is and uh, I'll type it I type it Moscow you can see um, four suggestions for my site and if uh, I can I can click on the map if my site di didn't exist yet so let's take a look at this one okay you can see here in legends Okay, weather stations are here. The green circles on the map. If I want to define new site for my PVC software, you can see red cross in the middle and in the center of screen on 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 the map so uh when i move 
and uh, right click, uh, sorry, left click on the map and drag it, I can move it and I zoom it in on map where I want to select my location on map. Okay, I zoom it so you can see in Moscow uh, there is uh, one site that I've made it before and it's uh, orange and let's uh, make another location and uh, I selected uh, here I selected here and click on and yeah I click on create a new location okay I click on create a new location and it's here okay this is what I choose for my site here I give it a name and uh, okay it it shows me the coordination of this this site and the altitude time zone and time reference and uh, situation and you can you can change it here by definitions that uh, it is def that uh, is defined in meteor norm and you can you can uh, read it it's better to read it, okay. And uh, then uh, I click on save. Okay, and I close it, this window. Okay, on uh, defined, you come here and you can see what sites and click on select location for calculation and it comes here on the left side okay now uh, I click on this icon which tells me to go in next okay next okay here's about uh, modifications and data import okay for my site these are the general and here location specific here, yeah, these amounts are about plane orientation and uh, these should be as we defined in PIVISYST for our photovoltaic systems. So, oh, let's take a look at that thing here, in here. Okay, we come here to orientation and uh, yeah, you can see here plane tilt and azimuth 43 and 0. Okay, let's back into meteor norm. Okay, azimuth was 0 and Inclination was uh, forty-three. Okay, albedo, albedo. We 
leave it on automatic but you can select a costume which uh, is depends on you but uh, leave it on automatic is better all right and so uh, here on horizon on horizon uh, we have to select the costume so we select on costume and this window appears okay let me clear these things and uh, okay so here you can see the horizon the horizon on the site and this these uh, yellow right lines are sun path as uh, the legend of this play shows here okay if I uh, change the location let's see uh, what happens but uh, first uh, come to uh, export the horizon file for our PVC software so uh, come to horizon and uh, click on save okay wait for loading and okay clear these things is okay I'll name it by this I, I give it in this name and it is for horizon file okay I save it and uh, all right minimize it and okay we back to pivotist and in horizon part okay now I come here and select read or import so now I come here and select meet your norm software and as you can see here you want to import file okay so I choose my file that I want to import okay I came to I save the path I came to the path that I saved my file from Meteor Norm and it's here okay and I open it okay it shows me that it was uh, successfully imported okay so I click on OK okay so you can see here the horizons on your site and uh, the amounts are taking taking in in their places and don't forget that uh, these are far shadings these are far, far shadings all right okay uh, now it's finished and we defined the horizon for our site and I click on OK 
Okay. And, uh, alright, uh, I think that's enough for now, and uh, let's get back to uh, Meet Your Norm and uh, try another location. So, I'm back here and uh, to location, and I come here to map, and I move get the point and every everywhere I want I can select it and let me let me select it here in somewhere here okay Okay. Create a new location and uh, give it a name. Okay, and save it. And uh, close it. Okay, here, sample none. Uh, remove it I click it to remove it and okay uh, you can you can double click on uh, your location that you want and it comes here and the left side okay and okay I click on next and define it for oh well you have to define what you want to uh, Define for your site. Let's uh, give it give it a one thing about uh, twenty five. Okay, and here, um, costume. You have to be connected into the internet, and it's automatically download the profile and the horizon. You can see here the horizon for the location is uh, this one, this profile for sun path in height and azimuth here. Okay, I, if I if you would like to save it, come here and click on save and give it a name and a path that you want to save it and click on save. Okay, let's uh, back to uh, meter norm and well, I select my sample. Okay, that I selected. I come here and you can see here it's forty three, and costume you can click on edit and it has the horizon okay uh, if I uh, I click I click on next I want to show you the results by meteor norm software these are the periods for radiation periods for temperature difference in uh, years and by by uh, uh, global warming I impacts and climate change. Okay, and I come here and click next. Ah, oh, yeah, you can you can select uh, what uh, output format you want. Here, if you work with uh, softwares uh, like. Uh, Dewey Software's uh, Energy Plus Design Builder and li like like Design Builder and any other softwares and uh, uh, here or, or 
if you work with transes or here about the PV systems, a PV system or PV saw, if you're using these things and if you're working with a T saw about uh, designing solar thermal systems, you can select the output format from these window and this part. Okay. I selected the PVSYST format and you can define a new you can define a new format here but uh, okay it's uh, it's uh, we have defined them and I click on next wait for getting getting the results it takes minutes but okay yeah it's it's here you can see uh, the radiation and uh, the month is of year by diffuse radiation and global radiation in radiation pot and in temperature precipitation sun sunshine duration and you can you can see a table you can have a table that you can use them and daily temperature is here and uh, by clicking it by clicking here you can save the text file txt txt file and dat by month and hour okay and to give it a path to save them Okay, this is uh, this is an good work with uh, Meteonom software, and uh, I recommend you to download it and use it as you bit like. And I think you can work perfectly, but the data that have provided here uh, by uh, Major Norm is gathered by many stations and uh, it was uh, they they were interpolated okay and consider this point if you want to use uh, Major Norm software but you can work with it and find out more about it Okay, and that's enough for now. And I'll talking about uh, the near shadings and defining near shadings in the next video. And um, I try to record this video in uh, uh, in tomorrow or or for weekend. Okay, and uh, well, yeah, uh, because because of the here. All right. See you next time. Bye.